I need help. I'm having trouble making ends meet again this month. Do you think you can help me out? Again? Didn't I tell you last month I wouldn't lend you any more money? What on earth are you spending it on? Kaylin's school and whatnot. Girls cost a lot of money, you know. But Caitlin goes to public school. The tuition is free. Is your budget so tight you can't pay for school supplies? Aren't you working? Even if it is just part-time? I know it's tough being a single mother, but aren't you also getting some welfare benefits? If it's really so tough, you guys could always move back in here, you know. No way. I don't want to leave the city. I don't know if that's really a good enough reason. I guess you're right, but I want to keep trying to make it here just a bit longer. I think I can get a full-time position at the place I'm working. You say that, but... Mom, please. This really is the last time, honest. Although, actually, I am in a bit of debt. Debt? I keep getting these threatening messages saying I need to pay it back or else. Honestly, I don't know if I can handle this. I won't even be able to feed Caitlin properly. Hold on. What kind of debt are you in? I've never heard of anything like that. And why are you in debt anyway? Don't you have the inheritance money from your father? I'd like to see your monthly budget worksheets. Budget worksheets? What are you talking about? I spent most of the inheritance just moving out here. And then the rest went into living expenses. It ran out a while back. 30k only goes so far. He wanted that money to be for Caitlin's future. Anyway... I'm coming over to see how we can get your expenses under control. But you still haven't told me how you managed to get into debt. I've been sending you about $500 every month. You can't tell me you had so little cash you had to go into debt. Ah, uh, that... well... Well? I spent some money on dating and slots and stuff. Dating and slots and stuff. You're still gambling. I thought you said you were quitting back when you had Caitlyn. I was gonna, but I hit a real hot streak after she was born. So I thought if I kept winning, I'd be able to give her a good life. You know she'd have a better life if you just spent that money on her instead. And what's this about dating? Do you have another new boyfriend? Well, kinda. What do you mean, kinda? We're not official or anything yet, but we're going to be. He says that if I can make him my number one priority, then we can be an item. He's a musician, you know, so that's no small thing. What in the world are you thinking? It sounds like it's totally your fault you're having trouble making ends meet. If that's how you want to live, I'm going to take Caitlin and raise her myself. Don't get her wrapped up in your mess. No. He said that he likes children. I want to introduce them. If he takes a liking to her, we'll be able to get more serious. What are you talking about? That's your daughter. That's it. I've listened to enough selfishness out of you. When you gave birth to Caitlin, without even knowing who her father was, your father and I agreed to help you, because you promised that you would raise her right. But you're always putting her second to whatever guy you're chasing. How many times do you need to jerk her around before you're satisfied? What can I do? I'm a romantic. There's no point in talking to you. You know what? I'm done helping you. Please, bring Caitlin back here. What are you talking about? What do you mean you're done? 
Your behavior is contrary to the whole idea of being a parent. That's why you're in this situation. It's because we spoiled you. But I can't keep cleaning up your messes for you your whole life. Pay back your debts yourself. And bring Caitlin here for the time being. No, I don't think so. If you're not going to help me, I'm not going to let you see her. Listen to yourself. Even if I gave you the money, you'd just blow it on slots and your boyfriend. Think about what you're doing. Ugh, blah, 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 blah. All you do is nag, nag, nag. I've had it. All I hear is that you're abandoning Caitlyn. Bye. Karen. Wait. Grams? Rams. Caitlin? Was that you calling before? Yeah. I was surprised because I didn't recognize the number. What's up? Did your mom buy you a phone? No, I borrowed one. Grams, can I call you? Sorry, I'm at work right now, so I can't talk. I see. What's wrong? Grams, Mom's gone. What? She didn't come home. Where are you right now? I'm coming to get you. I'm at this gangster's house. What? Gangster? Sorry, but I'm not sure I understand what you mean. After Mom disappeared, this guy came to the house... Then he took me to his house, and he gave me some food. What? He says he wants to know where Mom is. Do you know? Sorry, I don't know. Can you give the phone to the man real quick? Okay. Hi, please call me Mr. Ansom. I work for the company your daughter borrowed from. Hello, this is Ashlyn Rogers. Yeah, I know. Karen wrote you down as her emergency contact. I see. Speaking of Karen, she stopped paying back her loans. And she hasn't been answering our calls, so I had to go to her house directly. When I got there, I found that she'd taken all of her personal belongings and left her daughter, Caitlin, here by herself. What? Really? According to Caitlin... Kara gathered up all her stuff yesterday and left. She did what? So you're saying that she ran away? And she abandoned Caitlin? It would appear so. And as for the loans, it seems like you are her guarantor. What? As such, we'd like to collect Karen's remaining balance of 20 grand from you. Hold on a minute. I don't remember agreeing to be a guarantor. All the same, you're the guarantor written on the contract. Has your signature. There's no way that's valid. You're not just a regular debt collector, are you? And to take my granddaughter off somewhere. I'm calling the police. That's really cold. I'm just protecting your granddaughter. You might be confusing us from some kind of shady loan sharks or something. But I assure you, we're above board and not concerned about legal threats. If this were to go to court, I wouldn't count on the contract being deemed invalid. I can't believe this. I understand how you feel. The fact of the matter is that we need that loan to be repaid. But we don't necessarily want you to pay it. Look. It's my job to get the money from Karen. If you borrow money from someone, you should be the one to pay it back. That's just common sense, right? Sure, that's right. So, I'd like you to bring Karen here to me. We've got some work that she could do to pay off what she owes us. How's that sound to you? Will you call her for us? 
So basically, you're asking me to sell out my daughter in order to protect my granddaughter. That same daughter that abandoned her own daughter? Your granddaughter? You really want to protect her? It's true that what she did is unforgivable. And given the recent situation, it's much better for Caitlin to be with me. But no matter how rotten she is, Karen is still my daughter. I'm not stupid. I can imagine what kind of work you have in mind for her. I know she's the one to blame in the situation. But... I know this isn't my place to say, but it didn't really look like Karen was doing much child-rearing to me. When I went to the house a while back, it was a disaster. Didn't seem like she'd ever cleaned. And despite that, she borrowed money to gamble, chase skies, and in the end, even abandoned her own child. I personally don't have it in me to feel sympathy for someone like that. I understand. I get it. But I can't help but feel like we must have made a mistake in how we raised her for her to turn out like this. Listen, they say that no one's born bad, but I think that rotten apples are going to be rotten no matter what tree they grow on. Trust me, takes one to no one. <laughs> During the course of my work, I've seen all kinds of different households. And I've met a lot of backstabbing, no-good scoundrels in my day. I'd say a majority of them actually came from good-loving homes. I get what you're saying. Yeah, you're probably right. All right, I'll call my daughter. So please, give my granddaughter back to me. Of course. Let me know when you get a hold of Karen. And your granddaughter's off playing with my own daughter right now. She's totally safe, so don't worry about her. I have no intention of doing anything to harm someone the same age as my own daughter. I see. In that case, I guess I should thank you for taking care of her. It's alright. At the end of the day, I'm a parent too. Anyway, we'll just wait for some good news from you. Karen, one of your loan sharks just contacted me. It seems you left Caitlin behind and ran off. What are you thinking? Why didn't you just leave her with me? I would have gone there to get her. Eh, I thought they might get in touch with you. Sorry about that. I don't care about that. I'm talking about Caitlin right now. I couldn't pay them back. So then they started talking about seizing my property. So I didn't really have any other choice. And no matter how much I wanted to, I couldn't bring Caitlin with me. So why didn't you bring her to me? I was at the end of my rope. It would take time to leave her with you. And she takes so long to get ready. I don't have time to worry about that. I had a lot of expensive stuff that I didn't want taken. Just packing it all took a lot out of me. And you had already said you wanted to take her away from me. Something about seeing things work out just like you wanted just rubbed me the wrong way. What is the matter with you? Caitlin is in elementary school. She can't survive by herself. And you just abandoned her at the house. If the loan shark hadn't found her, who knows what could have happened. If things had turned out differently, she could have lost her life. I was planning to go get her once things calmed down. Lost her life. You're blowing things way out of proportion. Okay. I see how you think. So what are you going to do? I take it you've heard you're the guarantor and liable for the debt as well? I heard. And so, I'm going to help you. <laughs> yeah! Thank you! So it's okay for me to go back to the house then, right? That's such a load off. But there are some conditions. I want you to come with me to repay the money. 
What? Why? If you're going to pay it off, do it yourself. That guy scares me. I don't want to see him. You're not a child anymore. The least you could do is be there to at least watch this get taken care of. And if you don't, I won't pay it. And then I guess the both of us will have them breathing down our necks for the rest of our lives. But if you go with me to pay it off, we can finish it right now. So what's it going to be? All right, all right, I got it. I'll go with you. All right. Then meet me tomorrow at 10 a.m. near the post office. We'll go together from there. Yeah, all right. If I can wake up on time. You'd better. What is this? Why'd you leave me behind? Did you trick me? What kind of a mother sells out her own daughter? You're a monster. Excuse me? Who's a monster? You. You didn't bring the money you said you would, and then you just took off. What do you think you're doing? Do you know what will happen to me if we just leave things like this? Is this what a real mother would do? Do you not even have a drop of maternal instinct? I could ask you the same thing. Even in ordinary times, you didn't look out for Caitlyn like you should have. You just ran around town partying. I know you just dressed her up nicely whenever she was going to see me, to make it look like you were taking care of her. And then in the end, you abandoned her and ran off. Despicable. What? Mothers need some time to blow off steam as well. It's not my fault that she ended up getting left behind. What are you talking about? Everything that's happening is the result of your own actions. It's all your fault. I have a lot of things that I still want to do. I have places I want to go that I can't bring Caitlin. I want to have fun. And sure, I spent a lot of money. But is that really so bad? No, it's not bad. But you had the option to leave Caitlin with me if you wanted to go out. And of course it's fine to spend money on pleasure, as long as you make sure to spend within your means. Money borrowed from other people is not for going out. But everyone else my age is still out having fun. How come I'm the only one who has to put up with this? This is the path that you chose. You decided to have Caitlyn. Even though I was against it at first, I was really impressed by your determination back then. And at first you were trying so hard. But as soon as you found a guy, you just dropped her and forgot about her. And then on top of that, you left home, saying you were going to raise her alone. After Dad died, I thought I could make it on my own with the inheritance. But you were so annoying. Don't do this, don't do that, find a good job. I just wanted you to take raising a kid more seriously. I can't look after the both of you forever. But you ran away from me, and I only heard from you when you needed money. I've done everything that I could possibly do for you. When I heard about your debt, I had to start acting to get Caitlin away from you. I've already given up on you. Wow. Are you serious right now? You're not going to help me. That's right. Mom, I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I promise I'll do better next time, so please help me. I really wanted to help you before it came to this, but it's too late now. Do you even know where Caitlin is right now? Isn't she with you? No, she isn't. You haven't given a single thought to her this whole time, have you? If you would have said just one thing that showed you cared about your daughter since I talked to you yesterday, I was prepared to pay off the debt. Even though anyone else would have said you didn't deserve it. 
but since you could only think about yourself the whole time, I realize there's no point in helping you. Pay your debt off by yourself, and think about how you got here. Mom, no! Please help me! Just like you apparently don't have anyone to rely on besides me, Caitlin didn't have anyone else besides you. How can you expect me to take care of you when you won't even take care of your own daughter? Caitlin and I are so different. As long as she has a place to live and food to eat, she's fine. But that's too hard for me mentally. Terrible things are going to happen to me now. You realize that, don't you? You realize what kind of situation I'm in, right? Yes, I realize the situation perfectly well. I realize things have been really hard on Caitlin mentally. And as for you, as long as you have somewhere to live and something to eat, you'll be fine. No, I won't survive. And I'm so close. Just a little longer and things with Scott are going to become official. Happiness is just a hair away. Okay, I get it. I've realized that I was wrong before. Oh, I'll listen to whatever you say and I'll even come home. What you really need right now is a reality check to fix that warped perspective. I can't do it. Thankfully, it looks like Mr. Ansom is willing to help with that. No, I don't want to go there. If you've really realized the error of your ways, pay off your debts and then come home. Try to think back and remember how you were when you had Caitlin, or better yet, when you decided that you were going to have her. If you can't do that, then I've got no choice but to cut you off. It's time for you to finally figure out that you're an adult. After that, Mr. Ansom drove Caitlin all the way back to my house. Caitlin said that even though he seemed scary at first, she and his daughter took a liking to each other. She said the night she spent there was actually kind of fun, almost like her first sleepover. But of course, the shock of being abandoned by her mother still remains. As for Karen, I haven't spoken to her much since the incident. She's been working at the job that Mr. Ansom gave her, paying off her debt little by little. It seems like she really wants to resume her life with Caitlin one day and won't run off again. Besides, Mr. Ansom being the family man that he is, he isn't likely to forgive her running off again. It took a few months, but Caitlin finally calmed down and started smiling more often than not. I really can't forgive what Karen did to her but I can't help but worry about whether or not I actually did the right thing in the end. However terrible she is, it doesn't change the fact that Karen is my daughter. And there was a time when she truly did care about Caitlin. All I can do is hope that somehow she can change back into that old version of herself. And if she pays off her debt and truly reflects on what she did... Depending on how Caitlin feels, of course, I think it would be nice if we could all try living together one day. Naturally, things are really complicated. Everything is still up in the air, and I still can't forgive her quite yet. For the time being, I just want to give Caitlin's feelings proper consideration and create an environment where she won't be hurt again. And in the event that Karen tries to come home and take her away by force, I'll show Caitlin that I'm here to protect her, no matter what. I'm going to devote the rest of my life to her happiness. I've decided that is how I can take responsibility for my daughter's mistakes.